Eight years ago, James bought his brother an at-home saliva-based DNA testing kit. We'd always had a joke that Alex was a bit Neanderthal, and so we thought we'd give it a go. The kit was sent back for analysis to genetic testing firm 23andMe. I thought it would make a great birthday present. It was about 100 bucks. I signed him up. They sent him a kit. It contained a little test tube that he spat in, he signed a form, sent the test tube away, and that was it. It was mostly just fun. James's brother is one of 15 million people around the world who, over the past 15 or so years, have given their DNA to genetic titans like 23andMe in the hopes of discovering more about their lineage and genetic makeup. My DNA journey started here with 23andMe. With 23andMe, you can discover where in the world your DNA comes from. I didn't read the terms and conditions, and I don't know if you read it, but I think he just clicked yes. But now, for anyone who spat into a tube and sent it in, alarm bells are well and truly ringing. 23andMe, all seven members of that board resigning. 23andMe on the verge of getting delisted now from the NASDAQ. Struggling with a floundering business model as well as the fallout from a 2023 hack that saw data from 7 million users stolen, 23andMe is today on the verge of bankruptcy. 23andMe stock fell to 30 cents per share. 23andMe has lost 99.9% .9 of its value from its $6 billion market cap peak. If the company is sold off, there's no telling who could find themselves in possession of their entire database of DNA. 23andMe, if in fact the company does go bankrupt, then anyone administering that bankruptcy has an obligation to achieve the highest possible return for the corporate shareholders. What we're likely to see happen is essentially these data sets are going to be sold off as assets belonging to the company in much the same way as they might, say, sell off the buildings or the office furniture or other sorts of infrastructural assets. And the possible implications are huge. After scouring and finding weaknesses in your DNA, an insurance company might refuse your policy or law enforcement could attempt to link you or your family members to crimes. Employers might knock you back for a job or advertisers could target you with drugs. It's a way that people who are vulnerable for a range of reasons can be targeted or exploited. In fact, 23andMe is already in partnerships with at least 15 different drug companies. 23andMe has been selling access to that data to Big Pharma and it doesn't need specific consent to do that if, it, if the data is de-identified. And if that's the case, it's already been integrated into the research of those companies. A lot of people didn't realise that, well, yes, you've provided your sample to this particular company, but under the terms of the agreement, they can outsource that to anyone else they like for a profit. In fact, I'd say that most of it's probably already been sold and resold multiple times before the current insolvency crisis. And once your DNA is out there, it's out there for good. This data is the most personal kind of data you can have. You can get a new driver's licence, you can change your address, you can change your bank account details, you can't actually change your genomic data. And if you've shared your DNA, it's not just you who's exposed. So the thing about genetic information is that while it's highly specific to you, it's also largely shared with members of your immediate family, your parents or your children or your siblings. They're people who didn't necessarily consent to their genetic information being included in this. I feel guilty. I feel like I exposed our data collectively. 23andMe does give users the option to delete their account and genetic data, but it isn't removed immediately. 23andMe holds on to it for three years before deleting. I think it's very much a case of closing the gate after the horse has bolted, but also if it's already been sold to others, it's, it's beyond their control. And for concerned Australians, there are currently no legal protections. There needs to be some sort of global regulation type framework in place so that, OK, if you're an Australian and you spit in a tube and post it to the US, you have got some legal safeguards and protections in place. At the moment, we don't have that. 23andMe has until November 4 to raise its share price to at least $1 or face being delisted. So a sale to a new owner seems highly likely. I'm worried that the data will be sold and it will vanish. It will vanish into some laboratory somewhere. This might be the worst gift I've ever given.